Hey, I'm Josh, the head coach at Alchemy Training. I'm here with Carter from Bells of Steel to go over the Bells of Steel trap bar. Bells of Steel actually has two different trap bars, one a little bit smaller and one a little bit bigger and heavier. And we're gonna go over the unique features of this bar and how you can actually train your lower body in a variety of ways that you might have never even thought of before. The trap bar allows you to train your lower body in a diverse, unique variety of ways, kind of substitutes a lot of the movements that you would do with a traditional barbell. It allows us to work squatting type movements and deadlifting type movements just by a simple change in position of your hips. Adding in a little bit more knee flexion or keeping your hips a little bit higher changes the entire strength profile of this unique movement. As you can see, Bells of Steel offers two different sizes of trap bar. Today we're going to be using the industrial version. This is a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier and actually rackable. So you can put this in the rack and it expands your ability to do a variety of totally different movements. A great thing about this trap bar is that it comes with the built-in jack. What this allows you to do is just easily put on these plates. Carter's a big strong guy so we got him with the 45 pounds on each side. Easy as that, put it down. Okay, first movement we're gonna do is just a traditional trap bar deadlift. Unlike a traditional deadlift where the bar is slightly in front of you, which loads your spine up a little bit more, with the trap bar, your hands are, you can jump in the trap bar actually. Your hands are essentially directly in line with your center of mass, which just allows you to have a little bit less stress on the spine. Now here, beautiful thing about this trap bar is we got two different heights, right? So some people whose mobility don't allow them to get as low, they can do the higher trap bar, still maintain a neutral spine and perform the movement correctly. So first things first, Carter, I just want you to do a standard trap bar deadlift. Perfect, so traditional trap bar deadlift works hamstrings, glutes, back, quads, kind of the biggest replacement to our traditional deadlift. Now from the top, he can keep his hips high and do a more Romanian style deadlift with the trap bar. So you, show, you can show that, Romanian deadlift. Here, we're gonna take out a lot of that knee flexion. So that's gonna take out a lot of the quads and we're really just biasing the posterior chain, the glutes and the hamstrings. You can do about three reps. Perfect, you can relax. Now Carter, what I'm gonna have you do is instead of doing a traditional trap bar deadlift, I'm gonna get you to bend at the knees a little bit more and do it almost more like a squat, okay? So contrary to how we kept our hips high, he's gonna now drop his hips more and do it almost more like a squat. So this is gonna target the quads more, at, well, it's gonna include the quads and the hamstrings and glutes. So lots of versatility with this piece of equipment. We can do traditional deadlifts, which is gonna kind of work a good straight profile similar to a barbell deadlift. We can do high hips Romanian deadlifts, which is gonna work our posterior chain. Or we can do more knee flexion and we can almost simulate a squat. So one thing that's great about that is that it allows us not to have to worry about um, loading our spine and working about the the technique of doing a back squat. We can still build lots and lots of lower le leg strength, but if, say if we have some mobility restrictions where you just can't get your arms on, um, behind there for a, a barbell back squat or for a front squat, well then this is a good substitution until you've built up that prerequisite range of motion to still get a good stimulus in the quads. Now, as I said, there's a high bar and a low bar version. So if we just flip this over, easy peasy, we can now increase the range of motion and we can actually even work the quads more. If he sinks his hips down really, really low, now he's almost at parallel with his hip crease and his knee, getting a great range of motion throughout the entire movement. Now let's say we wanna work the squat pattern even more, you can relax. We can grab something to stand on and since this is a wide, a wide bar, our little blocks, fit right in between the bar, and now he has a full range of motion squat. So let's see, uh, 
get the work with this. <laughs> so he's gonna sink his hips down nice and low. Back's flat. Now we can notice that his hip crease is below his knee. He's got a nice full range of motion squat. And stand all the way up. Boom, without loading the spine. Huge stimulus on the quads, hamstrings, adductors, glutes, lower body. More similar to a squat than doing your traditional trap bar deadlift or trap bar Romanian deadlift. Another great feature of this trap bar is that it actually has an open side to it, which allows us to do unilateral movements like reverse lunges and split squats. Now, if you're limited in your home gym and you only have a certain amount of weight in your dumbbells, and say if you only have up to 30 pound dumbbells and you need a little bit more for your lower body, well, this is where the trap bar comes in. We can hold onto the trap bar and do our reverse lunges holding onto the trap bar. Let's see it. It's got some big weight on here. Let's see if you, uh, See how his reverse lunges go, he's a big strong guy. Boom. So notice, because we don't have that back piece to this trap bar, it allows him to do single leg movements. You can relax. Another great feature of Belza Steel's trap bar is the fact that we can load it up a little bit lighter and get a good range of motion for some trap bar jumps, right? So we can now develop power and explosive strength, more so than just building strength and building muscle, right? It's a very versatile piece of equipment. So he's gonna grab the bar, jump, land softly. Perfect, relax. Great thing about that exercise is that now you can load more than just your body weight and really develop explosive power. Lastly, a really unique thing you can do with the trap bar that you can't really do with many other exercises is loaded up with a technique called post-activation potentiation. Essentially what that means is that you're gonna go really heavy, it's gonna activate all your muscle fibers, and then you're gonna go into something really light and explosive. Now we're gonna imagine like there's a ton of weight on this, but this is a big strong guy, he can do much more weight than this, but let's jump on here. Let's do two trap bar deadlifts directly into two jumps, pretty explosive. So he would stand up, do his two trap bar deadlifts, take a step back, Go into some jumps, boom, and you can relax. And that would be a technique called post-activation, potentiation, really gonna develop a lot of power here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring you through an entire lower body strength workout that's gonna work your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings. It's gonna be a complete lower body strength workout just with the trap bar. So first thing we're gonna do, four sets, four reps trap bar deadlift. Let's just see four reps on that trap bar deadlift. One. Perfect, and relax. So, trap bar deadlift. We're gonna be primarily working our hamstrings, our glutes, our back, little bit of quads with that little tiny bit of knee flexion that we're using during the trap bar deadlift. What I want you to do, four sets, four reps, rest two to three minutes between sets. The next exercise we're gonna do is full range of motion trap bar squats. Since we went really heavy with those trap bar deadlifts, we're gonna go through a full range of motion and do a little bit more hypertrophy work on our quads. So we're gonna be looking at eight reps, four sets, all the way down, all the way up, Since this exercise is loaded up a little bit lighter, we can rest a little bit less. We're looking about two minutes between sets. So that would be eight reps, four sets, two minutes between sets rest. All right, the cap off your workout, what you're gonna do is a superset of trap bar reverse lunges and glute bridge walkouts. Okay, so, so Carter, the beautiful thing about this piece of equipment is that it doesn't have that back piece. We can do those reverse lunges. Let's do 10 reps per leg. You just have to show me a couple. He's gonna step that leg back, make sure his knee is in line with his toe. Looks perfect, give me three or four. One more is good. Make sure he goes full range of motion, comes back up, puts his bar down. Then immediately following the 10 reps per leg, he's gonna go to his back, step in front of the bar. He's gonna get into a glute bridge motion. He's gonna keep his hips high. He's gonna walk on his heels out. And he's gonna walk his heels back in. 
right? So now we're also working our hamstrings in knee flexion, do a couple more reps. One thing that we didn't do in the rest of the workout was work our hamstrings and knee flexion. So we're just capping everything off. So he's gonna do 10 reverse lunges per leg directly into 10 glute bridge walkouts. He's gonna rest about one minute to 90 seconds between sets, three total sets, and then you got yourself a full lower body workout. This is the Bells of Steel Industrial Trap Bar. Super versatile, you can get full lower body workouts in with this simple piece of equipment. If you're interested in anything about this trap bar or any of the other products that Bells of Steel has to offer, make sure you click the link below and you can get any piece of equipment that your home gym needs. Hey folks, Cave on here, founder of Bells of Steel. I hope you loved that video. Be sure to smash that like button and leave a comment below. And if you want any of the awesome home gym equipment you saw in this video, be sure to follow the links in the description and let the gains begin.